New tonight, a local organization has filed a complaint alleging the Brent Spence Bridge Quarter Project is disproportionately impacting minority neighborhoods and violates some of their rights. Yeah, tonight they held a community meeting to talk about their concerns. Chancellor Wynn joins us live with details. Yeah, so we are live here in Covington because this is actually the Kentucky side of the Brent Spence Bridge, which is a focal point of tonight's meeting, which really served as an opportunity for residents to voice their concerns about why they believe the Brent Spence Bridge Corridor project is disproportionately impacting minority communities. To make sure that this project has the best long term uh, impact on the whole community. Matt Butler is the president of the Davu Good Foundation. He says the foundation filed a complaint with the Federal Highway Administration alleging that the Brent Spence Bridge Corridor project is disproportionately impacting minority communities and violates Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. There's a lot of adverse effects like additional air pollution, uh, you know, the additional sound from construction and from additional additional vehicles. Now Butler says the Federal Highway Administration is investigating their complaint and are looking to speak with residents about their concerns. Wednesday night's meeting was a way to let residents know their voices are needed, but the people in the audience voiced different concerns. It needs to be some written in stone for them, for the small business people that's trying to trying to grow. A common concern from the audience focuses on job creation and the potential economic growth that comes with the $3.6 billion Brent Spence Bridge Corridor project. One resident says he's worried that outside companies will receive all the work and the local residents won't have the job opportunities. We don't want to paying our taxes on this side of the bridge and on that side of the bridge, but y'all had these other powerhouses come in and just roll steamrollers. And then it's and then y'all say, well, the bridge done. We out of here. Chris Packer is a Cincinnati resident, and he says if the project doesn't bring jobs, then that could impact the youth. To be able to come home and say, okay, you know, uh, my mom built that project, or my dad worked on that project, and they don't see that pattern of development about working in trades. Even with the varying concerns shared on Wednesday night, Butler says these are the types of conversations he hopes will continue. We're welcoming all ideas and all input into this and um, you know we're here to organize the community and really elevate their concerns. Now next Wednesday the, the Duvu Good Foundation will be holding another meeting for residents to continue to voice their concerns but this one will actually be on the Ohio side of the Brent Spence Bridge in the West End at 6 p.m. again that's going to be on August 7th. But for now reporting live in Kentucky with photojournalist Philip Krinsky, I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank you. A special prosecutor's been assigned to